Hey, what's up guys, it's Alan, your how-to guy here. For this month's how-to, we have the Elite 120 Mini ITX case. And we're gonna show you how to install a complete system inside the small compact case. First off, let's go through the parts that we're gonna be using. As you guys can see, we have the motherboard here with the CPU cooler installed. And for the CPU, we're using the i5 Intel CPU. We're gonna be using four gigs of crucial memory cooling we're using our Gemini M4 we have all that installed inside the Zotac Z77 ITX board for the hard drive we're using a Western Digital 250 gig for the video card we're using Nvidia GTX 580 for the power we're using our very own Silent Pro Hybrid 1300 watt which is fully modular and we're gonna be installing everything inside of our very own Elite 120 Mini ITX case. Okay, we're gonna start off by removing the case cover. The next thing that we're gonna do is take out the accessory kit so that we can install the motherboard standoff. Now that we have the standoffs installed, we can go ahead and mount the motherboard. Now that we have the motherboard secured, let's go ahead and install the cables. We have room on the motherboard for one system fan. Now let's go ahead and plug in the front panel connectors. plug in the HD audio and your USB port okay the next thing that we're gonna do is install the video card as you can see the card is really long it's about three quarters of the case its length, but it fits inside with no problem. And secure the video card with the thumb screws. Now the next step, we're gonna connect the power supply cables before we mount the power supply. Now that we have the video card installed, we can go ahead and install the power supply connectors. And we're gonna install the 24 pin and the CPU 8 pin connector before we mount the power supply. Because if you do that, you're not gonna have any room to mount your connectors. Let's go ahead and do the 24 pin connector first. The next one, the 8 pin. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and install the power supply. In order to install the power supply, we're going to remove this plate right here. And it has four screws located here, 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 and here. your power supply bracket. And to mount the power supply, you just simply slide it in like that and mount the screws right here to secure it. 
You can mount it both ways with the power supply stand facing up or you can mount it with the power supply facing down. But for this case, we're gonna use it facing up towards the top of the case. And the reason for that is we don't want the power supply fan pulling air out of the case while the CPU fan is pulling the air in towards the case. So it's gonna conflict with the airflow. Now that we have the power supply bracket installed, we can go ahead and slide the power supply inside the case. And as we're doing that, we're gonna go ahead and plug the remaining cables into the back of the power supply. Starting off with the 24 pin connector, your CPU eight pin connector, Have the SATA connector to power up the hard drive, PCI Express connector for the video card, and we have one Molex connector to power up the front fan. Now that all that's connected, we can go ahead and slide the power supply in. Now we need to secure it by mounting the screws here, 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 and here. Now that we plugged in all the cables to the back of the power supply, let's go ahead and add power to the video card. Now that we've added the power to the video card, let's go ahead and install the hard drive. For the hard drive, we're gonna use the brackets that come inside the accessory kit. And to install these, you just simply place them into the holes where the screws would go, and it'll stay on like that. We do the same for the other side. And you just install the hard drive by sliding it into the slot until you hear the click. Now let's go ahead and plug the cables into the hard drive. The last thing we're gonna do is plug in the front fan to add power to it. And that's pretty much it. We have the full system fully built. The last thing we wanna do is just put away all these cables. Now that we put the cables away, we can go ahead and put the cover back on the case. Now the system is fully built. You can take this to LAN parties. It's very light. The case has USB 3.0 here, two USB 2.0 ports, your mic, your headset, your on off, your reset switch. On the right side, it has the 80 millimeter intake fan. And over here on the top, it has an opening that way you can mount your power supply facing up so it can pull air from the outside. On the left side, it has vents right here for your video card so that it doesn't overheat. There you have it guys. We've built a full system inside the Elite 120 Mini ITX case. Until next time.